Over the past two months, Christian Aid has travelled the length and breadth of the country, taking the message of tax justice to the streets. And what a journey it's been. Along the way, the bus has visited no fewer than 106 towns and cities across the UK and Ireland. And we've met over 5,000 of you, our supporters, including 21 bishops and over 40 MPs. We've been hugely encouraged by the support for the campaign that we've encountered along the way. Before we set off, we polled members of the public and discovered that 56% of people thought that tax avoidance was morally wrong. These views were coming through loud and clear on the bus, where thousands of you ticked for tax justice and sent a message to David Cameron to take strong action to end financial secrecy. We were joined on the bus tour by Church Action on Poverty, a charity that focuses on ending poverty in the UK, as well as seven overseas partners who brought stories from across Asia, Africa and Latin America. One of our visiting partners was Alvin Mosioma, coordinator of Tax Justice Network Africa. Here he explains why the impacts of tax dodging are such a problem for the poorest people across Africa. Every coin that is not remitted to the, to the taxman in Africa is money that uh, should have gone to education if we need to, to provide health services, if we need to build uh, schools, build infrastructure, ensure that hospitals are well equipped. So we are talking about the provision of essential services and the money that should fund these essential services, uh, which is not being kept there, but is being siphoned to developed countries in the north. We'd like to say a huge thank you for taking action, supporting the campaign and sharing this journey with us. While the Tax Justice Bus has now reached the end of its journey, it also heralds the beginning of a new exciting campaign for tax justice. Thanks to your support and commitment, Christian Aid's tax campaign is stronger than ever and we're certainly not giving up the fight. A great campaign is planned for 2013, so watch this space.